Hey there, my Sages. Welcome to your June 2020 general reading. Remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone, so take what does and what doesn't. Just throw it out. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it, Sag. Okay, so what you're leaving well, what's behind you? I see the Queen of Pentacles and Enlightenment. So, I really feel as if you guys have basically had some aha moment when it came to your finances. I really feel that this Queen of Pentacles and this Enlightenment is basically talking about you having a better, under okay, I'm hearing now, okay. A better understanding of your finances. That's what I'm getting right here. You know better now what I'm getting. And I'm also getting a second group of you. You're dealing with an, an earth sign that's probably going through some type of um, spiritual growth I'm getting. There's something to do with a relationship with an earth, an earth sign I'm getting very strongly in this reading. Now, it's funny because if I can pick this up. It's funny because you have the the nine of wands right here. And I feel as if for some of you, because this isn't a relationship reading, but for some of you, an earth sign has kind of um, made you feel a little bad about yourself. I'm getting um, in June or, or this happened recently. An earth sign has uh, made you feel bad. Like you're feeling bad about something, um, having some guilt. Like I said, this this reading is general, so just take it as it res resonates. And also, I really feel as if some of you, this is this is another group of you. I really feel that you're trying to um, you're trying to keep going, but you're feeling a little a little bit hurt, and you have a little a little bit of guilt right here. You're feeling kind of guilty because it's. it's it's like you're trying to do something a little different, um, go your own way. And you might feel a little guilty for putting your own needs ahead of somebody else's. This is just what I'm getting intuitively. But, you know, guilt, like I said in my last reading, an another group had guilt. I forget who it was. But guilt is all about, you know, the fear of, of people not liking you. And you can't fear that. We also have, have preser... Pres <laughs> Perseverance. I'm sorry, my pronouncing is really bad sometimes. Um, I'm really getting that, you know, even though you've been hurt, Sagittarius, and you're feeling a little guilty, that you need to keep going. Like, don't quit before the miracle. That's what I'm getting. Don't quit before the miracle. Because you have really good stuff happening that's coming into your life. And you're, whether you see it or not, you really need to see what has already started to manifest in your life. Because those are signs. Like, really pay attention to the signs around you. Because something big is about to happen for you, Sagittarius. Whether you believe it or not. So, I'm just getting this energy of just a lot of guilt and kind of wanting to give up. But you, you cannot give up right now. This is, cru this is really crucial for you, Sagittarius. Because something big is happening for you. Now, for your obstacle right here. I'm getting the three of pinnacles and then gossip. So I feel as if some of you may be a little bit drawn to gossip in the workplace, possibly where you're working. Um, and you really need to stay away from that because um, it basically lowers your vibration. You want to you want to raise it because the divine has something planned for you. You've been through a whole lot from what I see with this nine of nine of wands like you've You've been through so much and you're about to get rewarded for all your efforts. So really stay away from this gossip. There's a gossiper at work. There's definitely a gossiper in your workplace or something. And if you're not working right now, there's just someone in your, your, your group that's a bit of a gossiper. And you really need to stay away from that person. Now, advice from Tarot right here. We have the Page of Cups and Insecurity. So... I really feel that spirit is trying to tell you, you know, really love yourself. Be loving to yourself. 
you don't need to be insecure. And whatever projects, I'm getting projects, some of you have some type of project or some type of idea that you think about doing, but you don't do it, you need to go ahead and do it because now's the time. Because believe it or not, this COVID-19 right now is bringing in many blessings for many people. So whatever it is, stop being insecure about it. Like you don't need to be insecure about it. You need to be a little more loving towards yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself health-wise. I don't know why I'm getting that. Now, we also have over here Star Family. It talks about you're part of a you're part of a team of souls. Call in to support. Call in support. So you may already know who your Star Family is. You'll know because you're really close to them. You feel very comfortable with them. Spirit is just basically, basically saying, call them for support. You know, it could be family members. And if you don't really have anybody that you're close to, make sure you're praying. I'm going to med meditation and ask for some guidance. Like, call them in. There's a way you can call them in through, through prayer. So make sure you're doing that. And we have deep cellular healing. So I feel that June is, really, is going to be a time where you're doing some healing um, some physical and emotional healing, definitely, because you're still at a, a healing phase, and especially with this nine of this nine of wands right here, Sagittarius. This just tells me, like, I just I'm feeling uh, just, uh, you know, you just you've just been through it, and you you're tired of fighting, you're tired of of this battle. But I'm telling you, you have something great coming in because you have. You're not gonna believe this. You got. Sagittarius, and then you have the Jupiter right here. Jupiter is about good luck, things coming in, good fortune. Jupiter is the best card to get. So, and then your Sagittarius card flew out. So, I feel that what's coming in for you uh, soon in June, it should be in June or close, really soon after June, you're going to have something that's going to happen, some type of miracle that's going to happen for you, I'm getting. Like, don't quit. You have something that's definitely turning around for you. And that's so freaking exciting. And this thing's going to offer adventure and travel for some of you. Some of you really want to travel. Um, these basically are your blessings that are coming in in June. And you got your own card right here, Sagittarius. And this is basically telling me that, you know, you are basically going to be blessed. And anything that you want to do independently... Um, whatever creative project you want to do, um, whatever new job you want to get, like this is your time. Like things are going, you have a lot of luck, just a lot of luck this June, which is awesome. And then I pulled from my Moonology deck over here. Oops, my paper fell. Okay. We have the energy is gaining momentum. And then we also have believe in the impossible. So something's coming in that's very rare. This paper's driving me crazy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Something is coming in that you're that's going to basically knock your socks off, have you like, wow, I did not expect that coming. So really make sure that you're open to it, that you do believe in miracles, you, you're believing in these things, because something, I'm telling you, something is coming in big for you, especially for you Sagittarius who have been doing the work on yourself. Now, you also have Lady Gaga's Stupid Love Song, and I kind of want to see what this is about. Um, typically when I see this card, this basically tells me that there's someone that you're trying, there's someone that, how do I say this? There's someone that you're really wanting their love. Like it aggravates you that you feel that you need their love, but you do. Now this can go vice versa. You're like, oh God, I hate to admit this, but I do, I want your love. And this could be going, going to the, the earth sign because I just feel like some of you are with an earth sign. Um, you're having this, uh, yes, yes, I do. I, I want your love, okay? Whatever. <laughs> I'm just getting that vibe. But I'm going to pull from my Love Oracle deck over here for you so we can see. Spirit, any messages for Sagittarius? Let's see what we have. Woo! Okay. Okay, yeah. So... Basically what I'm getting here, because you have love yourself first. We already have that with the Page of Cups because you're feeling insecure about something. I don't know. Okay. Some of you are having, <laughs> this is going to sound 
Okay, some of you are having some um, sexual issues, um, maybe erectile dysfunction or not feeling so sexy and attractive, I'm getting. Um, that's making you feel like you're less attractive. Maybe you feel like you're aging and you just, you, you're just not attractive as attractive, but this is just what I'm getting for some of you. But that's not the case. You still have it. I really feel that you really need to love yourself first, Sagittarius. That's what Spirit is saying. You really need to start doing some self-love. Get you some rose quartz. You can find it on Amazon or whatever crystal shop. I don't know if any crystal shops are open because of the shutdown of <laughs> many businesses. But you can find them online. Work with some rose quartz. That would really help you because you really do need to start valuing yourself because you have amazing things. I just feel like in June, you're basically starting to feel just drained. You're just feeling tired because it's been a long road for you. But trust me, you got to keep going because you have Jupiter on your side. You have believe in the impossible. It's happening. It's here. It just needs to materialize here on earth. And then we have heart to heart conversations right here. So I really feel that you and this earth sign are in, Maybe they're not an earth sign. You and this person really need to, you know, be honest about your feelings for each other. Just really be honest about what you like, what you're disliking, what's bothering you. Just have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's going to help everything. All right. Any more messages for... Oh, that came out. You're stronger than, you're, than you know. So you're stronger than you know, Sagittarius. You got this. You've been through hell and back. This is nothing. This is nothing. See if we can get another one. Ah! Okay, so we have religion and spirituality. I feel that some of you really need to get back into it. Get back into your spirituality and your religion. Um, whatever you practice, you need to connect a little bit more with that. Finances, I'm telling you, there's going to be a change in your finances coming June or shortly after that. That's going to be great. And then we have brief work right here. So... The grief work that I'm feeling is just, I'm really getting that you're just feeling drained and tired. I'm not getting that it's anything extremely negative that's going to happen in June. I'm just getting, it's going, it's, I'm telling you, it's going with this nine of, nine of, I said, I'm about to say nine of swords. It's not nine of swords, nine of wands. I'm just feeling that. And maybe I'm saying nine of swords for some reason. Um, something ended. Something ended, you might still be grieving it a little bit in June. Um, even though things are going to start picking up and they're looking beautiful, something, something ended for you. But it's okay. You're going to be okay. Like, you have, you have amazing things coming for you. So, basically, this June, take care of yourself. Get you some rose quartz. Work on some self-love. That's what you really need to do. And you need to be very patient. Because this thing is coming in. It's coming in and you're not even going to know it. It's going to be something that you did not expect. I feel it in your reading strongly. All right, Sagittarius, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.